Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. This video is all about uh, the postdoctoral research, particularly postdoctoral research fellowship in US or in UK, outside of India, because you can clearly see that the students are after even the scholars, they passing out from the PhD in India, they are always aiming to do postdoctoral research, postdoctoral studies outside of India in the foreign countries, particularly US and UK. Also, there are other European countries out there that they can join in, but it will give you UK salary will give you an overall idea about how you can expect, how much you can expect overall Europe. So that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to talk about the salary you can get as a postdoctoral researcher in US as well as uh, as a postdoctoral researcher the salary in UK. But before that, I'll give you a quick summary about the postdoctoral studies. What is postdoctoral studies? What you need to do in order to get into that? So the first things first is what uh, is the research focus as a postdoctoral study? You know, the research focus is very straightforward. You know, in postdoctoral studies, you're not going to do something on your own. Obviously, your, your research work is on your own, but not exactly on your own. In PhD, what we do in PhD, you have your own thesis, you, you, you write your own thesis about a work that you have done which is unique which is not done exactly the same work is not done before and based on that you publish a thesis right you defend your thesis you get the phd you're honored with the phd now in postdoctoral studies is all about building a network of research so a group of researchers only working together in different uh, research institutes around the globe and they share their inputs so that they are working together in order to help mankind in a particular direction that's the job of uh, postdoctoral study so postdoc is more about collaboration rather than a unique simple single selfish uh, work okay that is the basic difference between a phd and a postdoc now second thing is about the duration how much time does it take to complete postdoc well it can take uh, between one year and a five year span okay so ek saal se paanch saal ke beech koi bhi boundary ab le sakte ho generally can be wrapped by two or three years most of the occasions what are the institutions where you can do your postdoctoral studies agar india se bahar ja ke karna hai so in us uh, i can tell you uh, the different uh, research organization will uh, you can do the postdocs one is universities obviously universities always welcome students then sole research institutes are out there third are the government organizations are out there government agencies are out there who are generally related to the industrial uh, part of the job also private companies and agencies out there who outsource the people like who require phd candidates to do certain works so that that can be applicable to the field of that particular domain whether it can be pharmaceutical domain cosmetics domain or the food technology domain okay so so these are uh, the different organization these are different places where you can do your postdoctoral studies now, what about the funding? Uh, how much salary you are going to get? See, most of the times the postdocs are stipend. So they get the stipend. They get the stipend from uh, their respective organization. There's a fixed salary. And uh, people who are moving from India to abroad, they are always looking for a postdoctoral studies where a fixed salary per month is offered. Okay. But in many occasions, if this is not occur, uh, this is not offered, in that case, what they can get, they can rely on, they can feed on the research fundings that they get. They invest most of the amount in the research and also they keep something to keep them, their, their financial life going. Now, next is mentorship. Uh, what kind of mentorship you can get? See, you are a postdoctoral fellow. That means you already have done PhD. Okay. So now at this time, obviously, you will be mentored by a research uh, associate now who is going to be your mentor obviously someone who is more experienced than you generally a senior research associate or a professor or a scientist uh, higher rank scientist than you obviously you are scientist by this time but obviously a scientist at a higher grade is going to assist you in that particular work and the last thing is about what will you get from a postdoctoral studies. See, the postdoctoral studies in India, to be honest, most of the people are doing postdoctoral studies. Uh, either one thing is to increase their networking. They try to be connected with maximum researchers as they can. And this is the time to be connected. And the connection should begin from your PhD days. From PhD, you should build contacts. The more contacts that you build, the better it will get for you to get a permanent job later on after finishing the PhD. The same thing happens to postdoctoral studies because most of the time you will be attending seminars, symposiums, so etc. etc. where you will exchange thoughts 
and connect with other researchers around the globe and you can see new opportunities so your life will be dynamic but at the same time exciting about the future and uh, this is something that you need to put in your mind and so it's more about collaboration it's more about networking uh, than learning a subject because throughout your phd you've already learned it so this is uh, something that will enrich your experience that's why they join and the second sort of uh, people who aim for postdoc is that they don't find anything in india to do job because in india after phd if you want to get a job either you get an academic job you need to get back to academic to teach students in colleges and universities as an assistant professor with the salary range of uh, 50 to 60000 rupees a month or <clears throat> You can go with the industry funded uh, programs or industry funded like R&D or uh, QCQA analyst, uh, this position jobs, the salary offered is 30,000 to 40, 45,000 rupees, which is far less. So compared to that, the postdoc salary is really lucrative and uh, people uh, want to dig into that postdoctoral studies because they don't find any suitable job in India and the salary offered in India is very low. That's why the postdoc is really lucrative. Now the right time. Now many of the states that sir is talking about all these things but not disclosing the salary. Obviously we are going to disclose. So now the salary range here for you. In US, in United States, if you do a postdoctoral studies, your salary range will be somewhat from 55,000 dollar to sixty thousand dollars so like uh like fifty thousand to like fifty five thousand dollar to sixty five thousand dollar that will be your salary range so if you assume that sixty thousand dollar annual salary you can get so that means per month it will be near about five thousand dollar that five thousand dollar salary that you get uh is approximately as per indian money is uh four lakh rupees like multiplied with 80 right now in 2024 january it is near about 4 lakh rupees uh, exactly in India. But the calculation should not be done like that. There is a concept called purchasing power parity. And according to this purchasing power parity will calculate. There is a concept called purchasing power parity. Whether you are like, if you don't, if you think like this, you are getting uh, $60,000 in uh, USA. It's a huge salary, like right? equivalent to 4 lakh rupees in India. No, it's not equivalent to 4 lakh rupees in India. The concept of power parity is that. Uh, the same amount uh, if you get in India, how much uh, like what will be your life of living depending upon the city, the cost of living in there and everything is accounted for this. So paper parity calculation is very important. If I do that calculation, I'll select United States and how much salary offered? Let's say 60,000 rupees per annum and you're going to get approximately 13 lakh 72,000 something salary per annum so that is equivalent to 1 lakh 14000 rupees per month yes so indian equivalence of 1 lakh 14000 rupees per month you are going to get uh, as per uh, the job of research postdoctoral research fellow in united states and that is the salary that you are getting now this salary although you think like 1 lakh 14000 rupees is not bad according to most of the uh, scholars because that's why they are leaving india and moving to us or uk to do their postdoctoral studies the reason is that after completing phd in india your option is to search for the lectureship job because there is no proper uh, permanent researcher position scientist position jobs are limited and huge competitions and lobbying are out there so in that case if you want to join as a lecturer assistant professor you will be offered a salary of 55 to 60000 rupees a month in india but equivalent to 1 lakh 14000 rupees you are getting in us as a postdoctoral fellow which is far better double the amount that you can get in india and also in us if you build a contact and obviously the us dream that thing is out there people now understand people now think uh, in a way that settling in us is obviously achieving something although it's not a reality but most of the people believe the same thing moving into us is kind of a status symbol now a days and also it's something like achievement although it's not a reality it's uh, our uh, sadness the sadness of our economy sadness of our country in the life science the field of life science that the students are not being retained they need to get out of this country for some reason it's not a decent thing uh, we're supposed to build work we fail to build that that's why these things happen anyway now this is salary and this salary although you believe that this is a better salary that is offered in us than you india that's that's true that's good but in us in us standards this salary is still low in fact postdoctoral fellowship studies or postdoctoral fellowships 
are much lesser than the median pay that is offered in US. Yes, lesser than the median pay. In fact, I'm going to tell you a fact. Uh, plumbers and electricians in US make more money than a postdoctoral fellow. Yes, based on the per hourly rental because that they get they get this, uh, their salary as a hourly rent. The hourly rental salary that they, they are offered they get is higher than that of a postdoctoral research fellow. Yeah, that's reality. In India, the salary is higher for engineers. Most of them, they are the engineers getting the highest salary and CEOs getting the highest salaries. In US, higher salaries get uh, uh, obtained by doctors then CEOs and engineers, engineers are far less uh, in that comparison. Anyway, that's different for different countries. Now, come back to other countries. UK offers a comparatively less salary when we see it. UK, United Kingdom offers approximately 40,000 to 50,000 dollar uh, pounds great britain pounds gbps so let's assume that a person is, is getting 40000 pound if you convert 40000 pound into dollar it will be lesser than what is offered in us but as per the calculation of pay per parity the life of living you are going to get from london you are going to get 1 lakh like 15 lakh rupees annually as per pay per parity which is more than uh, what is offered by the us Yes, that is equivalent to 1,25,000 rupees per month, which is again more than double, almost uh, like uh, 2.5 times hike than Indian postgraduate, uh, like Indian PhD fellowship and also not PhD fellowship, it's more than like 3-4 times more than PhD fellowship and also uh, 2.5 times more than what is offered to assistant professor in India. So, India mein assistant professor ko jitna offer kiya jata hai, usse 2.5 times dhai guna zyada hai. यहां पे यूके में और टू टाइम्स दो गुना ज्यादा है यूएस में सैलरी के मामले में इंडियन पेपर पैरिटी को कंपेयर करके कंट्रास्ट करके हां मगर अगर आप वहां पे किसी आ, कि ऐसे इंसान के घर पे रह रहे हो जहां पे आपको रेंट नहीं लग रहा है आपके कोई रिलेटिव्स वगैरह हैं तो जाके इक्वेशन बदल जाता है आपका बहुत ज्यादा सेविंग्स होगा क्योंकि लाइफ ऑफ लिविंग में तो कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज वेरी हाई वो ज्यादा होता है अगर वो आपका मैनेज हो जाता है तो आपका कॉस्ट जो है बहुत सिग्निफिकेंटली कम हो जाएगा बहुत ज्यादा सेविंग्स आप कर पाएंगे 10 साल वहां पे अगर रहते हो तो बहुत ज्यादा सेविंग्स कर, करके आप इंडिया में आ पाओगे मगर ये एक चीज है इफ यू डिसाइड टू गो एज अ पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेरो इन यूएस और यूके देन पुट वन थिंग इन योर माइंड व्हेन यू कम बैक टू इंडिया एंड सर्च द जॉब एज अ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर पे बैंड यहां पे इंक्रीज नहीं होने वाला यू नीड टू बी ऑफर्ड द सेम पे बैंड सो वहां पे आपको ज्यादा मिल रहा था ऐसा नहीं कि equivalent to that salary मुझे यहाँ पे मिलेगा कोई नहीं offer करेगा कोई match ही नहीं करेगा लोग बोलेगा आप जाओ वहाँ पे फिर से वहीं पे job ढूँढ लो अगर यहाँ पे India में आना है तो India का जो salary range है वही आपको maintain करना पड़ेगा so you need to be mentally prepared if you are doing a postdoctoral fellowship jobs there are also extra off campus job although it's very difficult to do off campus job while continuing with the postdoctoral fellowship मगर अगर आप कर रहे हो वहाँ पे extra income कर रहे हो आप कोई business वगैरह में side business आप कर रहे हो ये सब अगर हम वहाँ पे कर के उसको इन्वेस्ट करके आपको खाना है नहीं उसको मतलब वही एग्जैक्ट लिमिट से आपको स्टार्ट नहीं कर सकते आप सो दैट्स ऑल रिगार्डिंग द पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेलोशिप सैलरी पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेलोशिप स्टाइपेंड इन यूएस पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेलोशिप स्टाइपेंड इन यूके आई बिलीव यू हैव अ क्लियर आईडिया पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेलोशिप क्या होता है किस लिए होता है सब कुछ राइट एंड इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट ड्यूरिंग द पोस्ट डॉक्टरल फेलोशिप यू बिल्ड अ सॉलिड कनेक्शन अ बेटर नेटवर्किंग एंड अ बेटर learning experience and better relationship with your mentor supervisor so that uh, you can stay there for a long time because the longer you stay the better chance that you will be acquiring more okay so that's it video acha laga to like karna share karna apne dosto ke sath colleague ke sath subscribe to get more videos like that and also mention as a post uh, doctoral fellow how much salary you are getting how much fellowship you are getting in your hand in hand and on paper in the comment section because i also wanted to know i have asked many people and based on that i i gave you this declaration although this values that i declare may vary uh, depending upon again where you are doing the post doctors studies and the obviously universities or research uh, places depending upon that it varies but i wanted to know what others are deciding and thinking thank you bye